hello friends good evening so today we will just discuss about a, a very important topic that is covid data leak so now what happened this covid data leak has created a great amount of uproar in the entire nation because people trusted the government to a large extent that's what they do regularly and after some point of time a recent news which they received was that the data uh, which was been subjected to government storage got leaked to a large extent so what is this covid data leak the element of trust deficit has now emerged into the minds of people so what exactly is this issue how we are able to connect it with the other schemes of the government particularly how the constitution safeguards which has been given by the government is now being subjected to query so these many days the trust what they had now it got shattered because of this particular data leak sir is this the first time in case of india a data is getting leaked that will be the primary question but you should understand that in case of india many a time we have witnessed the data leak so there was data leak with respect to banking information data leak from some hypermarkets in case of india so all these things are happening but when you speak statistically health related datas are something which is getting leaked to a large extent all those who are involved in the act of hacking are more interested to know about the issue on this particular healthcare information as it helps them to mint money to a largest extent and now to begin with now we will just discuss covin portal data breach first thing true or false we have a big doubt in our mind whether what they are saying is right or not and recent news conveys the message that uh, the delhi police department have arrested a, a person and his brother who is a juvenile less than the age of 18 both of them were arrested because they came to know that from that particular source only the data got uh, as such leaked and the mother happens to be uh, a low level healthcare worker so using her username and id some information they have taken and they have spread it in the telegram bot so the message is clear now that there is no amount of ambiguity it is not that they are creating any false news it is absolute true information so now issue begins more seriously these many days we had a hunch that it may be true or false but now we came to know it's an absolute true information and police department have secured these individual along with the mother to interrogate and to ascertain what has happened now going into the element of truthfulness we need to know more information on how this has happened and what are the issues associated with this problem let's take a brief analysis so that we know everything and to begin with generally speaking this time what has happened is something considered to be a big amount of data threat so first issue is that the present information relating to the data threat what has happened is considered to be first point a biggest amount of threat or biggest amount of data which is getting as such leaked in case of the internet so internet leak this is again considered to be a big dramatic issue the logic is that you all know in case of this particular uh, covid uh, or this uh, covid 19 all these problem it surfaced recently not more than 3 years or such and this particular covid the portal what they created is just having a time duration of less than 18 months that is hardly one and a half years within that time it has crossed more than crores of people so more than a crore they have given their input in this particular issue so we are more concerned what is happening here it is having so many data what will happen because when people come forward to give great amount of information it is having a big amount of risk also data collection is always connected with the risk so here there is a great amount of people giving the data they say roughly 1 billion people have given the data number 2 we are been subjected to great amount of information being shared so here first thing is that whenever the data is getting collected by the government they have to ensure two things that is the data what they are collecting whether they can give security for that or not any particular information 
which is considered as a personal information need to be secured by the government if they are not doing that then they do not have a prerogative to collect the data so fundamentally speaking the rights guaranteed to us by the constitution of india reconfirms the message that we have a right to privacy and time and again it has been reconfirmed by honorable supreme court of india if you remember there was a nine bench supreme court judgment which was been given in a very famous case which is called as putta swami case so putta swami case was a highlighter because it gave a loud message that right to privacy is also a part of right to life and personal liberty so privacy needs to be protected that doesn't mean we have absolute privacy though we have a reasonable restriction it is the duty of the government to ensure that whatever data has been given is getting well protected so here this particular breach of the trust what people had on the government will definitely have a big amount of repercussion on digital india program what the government is eyeing to a large extent first issue this is the problem we are having subsequently speaking here this data so a question is coming sir this covin data is there no why can't we go and delete it we are creating some app here we are giving some information in the portal why can't we delete it for that the answer says that yes you have a right to delete your account subjected to the only condition that deleting is possible only when you don't take a vaccine if you have not taken a vaccine then you can delete it but once you take a vaccine your slots are been as such earmarked and your data is been available over there you do not have a right to as such delete your account so first problem lies here is that we don't have a right to delete the content and number 2 government of india made a compulsion that let all people register in this covid so covid portal was been made as a compulsory one they asked everyone to go and register mention their name mobile number aadhar card details your passport details or other information what we are having as a personal data so all these information were been given but now legally speaking here begins the trouble that is you have something called as aadhar act so aadhar is based on the act and aadhar act very clearly says information relating to the members on aadhar detail cannot be stored as such first problem lies here you are not supposed to store the aadhar data that is what aadhar act is saying very clear when that is the condition how we are been subjected to this particular storing of aadhar so they have done it so there itself fundamentally speaking there is a great amount of flaw number 2 again another information with respect to this data leak is that all the datas whatever they have made available in the public platform are all subjected to a element of unencrypted datas you see how bad they are with respect to data storage they have done everything based on unencrypted datas you need to store it right you have the duty to store it in a most secure manner unfortunately speaking they have done unencrypted data therefore it was very easy to access the data from outside and currently speaking the world is subjected to netizens we are having great amount of internet users when that is the criteria when people are having some access to hack the data when something is available easily definitely data theft will happen and this cannot be subjected to any amount of change and now this issue is again being dealt in legal perspective that is in case of india we have a nodal agency which is called as cert c e r t right c e r t this particular cert so emergency response team what we are having is a computer emergency response team the nodal agency are supposed to do forensic analysis on this area legally speaking they haven't done that they haven't done the forensic analysis and this is again creating a great amount of threat and here we speak about uh, in case of this indian constitution or in case of the governance in india a big program which is called as digital india all right we always have the i that india should be subjected to digital india everything should be digitalized 
but in this particular digital india you need to have a great amount of clarity that is what is your take with respect to cyber security what is your take with respect to forensic security or forensic analysis or simply speaking what is the basic security system you have for a given problem for all these questions till today we do not have an answer when answer is not available obviously speaking these type of data threat are bound to occur and number 2 the big problem linked with this issue is that this particular coven what we are calling is being subjected to integration so now we are having the app for example there is a app called as arogya setu arogya setu is an app which is giving all the information relating to the aspects of coven all those things and you have one more app called as umang app now the problem is both the app got interlinked coven arogya setu umang all these are been interrelated they are been integrated when this particular issue is happening when there is a great amount of integration obviously there is a big risk on the part of government to secure them therefore problem arises additionally speaking now we have given the vaccine all of them have done the task everything is over even who has declared that no more this particular corona virus can be considered as a serious threat to the entire world so when who has given all this thing now a question comes why the government is still maintaining the data you are having right to privacy fundamental right in article 21 of the constitution now who is asking you to store the data what is the mandate for you to store the data for these things there is no answer and number 2 in this particular area when we have this right to privacy as a fundamental right then it should be subjected to right to deletion also so you should be given the choice now your data is available you decide whether you want to have it or you want to delete it right to deletion is compulsorily required but they have not given this they haven't given the element of right so we do not have any amount of access in this perspective and here the issue is that right to deletion should be made universal but what you are saying only when somebody has not given the vaccine not taken the vaccine for him i will give right to deletion but for someone who has taken the vaccine he doesn't have this right when you segregate the people based on this parameter this cannot be something acceptable so here again the trouble increases to a large extent and this data sir how it got uh, as such uh, you know like subjected to leaking so some information on that there is something called as hack for learn so this particular hack for learn telegram channel so they were the one who were subjected to giving this particular data and these data got as such subjected to great amount of leaking and in the bot the screenshots of the you know like uh, users who have given their information got leaked in the telegram chat and now this is creating a great amount of uproar in the entire nation the logic is that government of india even now they are not ready with respect to data protection policy government of india has not done properly in this area sir what is the element of proof over there for example you are having something called as the draft protection policy protection policy relating to data is still in the draft stage they have made great amount of successive draft one after the other three or four times draft is being again and again reprepared and as a matter of fact you should know that every time they make a draft the draft is becoming diluted only it is not becoming strong it is becoming diluted again and again again and again they are giving some weak options available and each time when you do like that then obviously speaking we cannot do any big amount of uh, data protection law in our nation and that too when you make also hardly it will have any impact on the protection of data what the government is collecting from the common public so this is again a pressing issue which we need to handle for example we will just cross compare the information what is happening globally you all know about this meta right so meta is something known to every one of you a very famous organization everything mark zuckerberg is having all the control 
this meta was subjected to some amount of transfer of data from Europe to America, some data transfer has taken place. In this particular data transfer, there was some amount of violation what the European government has said. So, the Irish Data Protection Commission has given some uh, rules for the data to be protected. And there is some amount of leak here and there available. And you should know that Meta was given a penalty, a whooping amount of 1.2 billion. That was the penalty which was being imposed by Irish Data Protection Commission. Why? They have violated the EU's data, priv data privacy policy. European Union data privacy policy, they have violated. Now they are having the punishment. And now in case of India, tell me what is available. The biggest question now it comes to the mind is that who will take the responsibility? That is my first question for which there is no answer even till today. Each one will do uh, throwing the blame on the other. So responsibility in India, nobody takes. When nobody is willing to take the responsibility, this issue can never be subjected to any amount of recovery. And data protection, we can say India has literally speaking failed in storing the data. We have failed only. There is no amount of doubt in that. We have literally failed. Whatever data is required, we have failed. See, for example, when you go to the aspect of European country, there is something which is called as General Data Protection Regulation. General Data Protection Regulation. European Union is having this regulation. They norm, they guide everything. And then only they go for the aspect of ensuring that data is getting protected. Now tell me what will be the mindset of the people in case of India who have given the vote and who are having the trust that our data will get protected. So anybody will have this fear no? So constitutionally the right needs to be reconfirmed by the government. Any government for that matter they have to reconfirm it. Again the issue is that. When we are having so many fundamental rights, we have a doubt, no, whether any right can be added as such. I will tell that right to be forgotten should be one of the right mentioned in the fundamental right itself. So we need to have right to be forgotten. You, when you give something, when you want that information to be removed from that particular site, this right should be there. They have to go and tell that, come on, this option is available. You can go and delete it. Only when they give this, this is considered to be an ideal right. Otherwise, simply telling that we are having all fundamental right only in paper, but not giving this option will make the fundamental right look more weak and subtle in nature. And factually speaking, you should know that 665 point 31 million people are accessing the internet in case of the world. 665 million. When so many people are using the internet and many of the people who are using internet are using this particular information in the internet not only for good thing but also for bad thing. So when you store the data, these many people have the access to approach you, to steal the data to have the robbing of data and they can hack the data and misuse it to a large extent. As a matter of fact, you should know that 30% of Indians who are using the mobile phone are subjected to the age which is lesser than the age of 25. And these people, they are using the internet apps, the application, whatever is there. Only through that they do all transactions. And imagine when there is no data security available, whatever information we are giving, everything can be subjected to act of stealing. And this is again subjected to big amount of fear factor also. On the other hand, there are people who are considered to be hackers, right? I think you'll be aware of that. So all the hackers are waiting to get the data. Once they get all data, it will amount to violation of the constitutional privilege and prestige and security what has been given to me. So in that area, I am more concerned on this thing. Next one, we have a big problem in this issue is that why we are having this issue is they will do profiling of the candidates, profiling of the candidates based on this. 
candidates will get profile by seeing the data they will come to a conclusion and sometimes when this particular data is there when candidates are getting profiled sometimes what happened they will be subjected to a great amount of unfair exclusion people who needs to get the benefit might get excluded there will be some discrimination in this particular data and there can be marginalization also which is again a big problem these issues are again creating a big amount of fear factor into the minds of the common man additionally speaking we are also having the issue relating to article 21 article 21 one of the you know like uh, widest article one of the widest meaning widest interpretation has been approached to this article article 21 right to life and personal liberty right to life doesn't mean animal way of life right to life means a normal way of living where it is been considered to be a dignified life am i right that is what is called as this area in this perspective when we have the dealings on right to privacy when government of india has failed to secure this particular right then obviously speaking this is the greatest violation which the nation has seen because the trust deficit happened the trust deficit is like something which cannot be as such adjust with words alone it's like in a contract you have breach of trust that is what has happened here. and here this right is something applicable to everyone when people have this right to privacy it is a duty of the government to protect it otherwise speaking data collection should not be done by the government we are not supposed to, to proceed for the aspect of digital india and that and all needs some infrastructure which is missing to a large extent and here we have one more piece of legislation that is called as information technology act 2000 that is giving a greatest amount of strength relating to cyber security all cyber security information needs to be protected as per the it act of 2000 but on the contrary what issue is that we are unable to proceed forward in this legislation because of lacune so now to a large extent number 1 what are the issues linked with this is that first is that according to article 14 of the constitution all are equal and now when you are profiling the candidates based on this our fundamental right of article 14 gets violated then article 15 which speaks about uh, there shall be no discrimination based on religion race caste sex uh, gender or place of birth but now the male and female data what they are having can result in showing some discrimination which is the biggest threat what we are having so this again can be subjected to acceptance and here you should know article 17 of the constitution deals with untouchability dr b r ambedkar hasn't defined what do you mean by untouchability so in this area when people are being marginalized this is also an act of untouchability which the government cannot as such permit and then coming back to article 21 right to life and personal liberty which is again the biggest hallmark of democracy is getting destabilized because of this data theft so now we need to work on cyber security forensic security we need a data protection commissioner who shall take all responsibility for the leakage of data and let the data privacy bill come into picture with true spirit and true power so that we are able to proceed conveniently and store the data there are lacunes see trial and error method is there in every field so there are some lacune there are some loopholes available there is no doubt in that but once government steps in to correct all these mechanism obviously speaking digital india will definitely make india a number one nation in this asian continent thank you